Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Makes double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of great millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. You wonder why you, you mourning. You wonder why you catching hell. You wonder why everything's expensive. You wonder why you can't get ahead. You wonder, you wonder why all these unrighteous decrees, aka unrighteous laws are being passed. I mean, just, just poverty everywhere. You wonder why everybody's homeless as hell. You wonder why everybody, nobody can't afford this expensive ass rent. <laughs> Fightings, fussings, chaos, mayhem, crime, uh, all the above. The love of many is waxing cold because the wicked is ruling the earth. You people don't get it yet. This, this place is fitted for destruction. It's fitted for the taking. And everything is going according to the plans of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God. Jesus. Everything is going to, according to their plans. This, this, this wicked, sinful kingdom won't meant to go on forever. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Now, now it's time now. Now it's time for the Lord to bring this shit hold down, all right? And then you got Israelites praying for the shit, praying for the shithole. All right, Babylon and great praying that it bounces back, praying that it gets better. Hey, if this place gets better, it gets worse for you. When this place was was at its highest peak, you know what I'm saying its highest plateau. You know what I'm saying strong we was catching the most hell, man. And then the Lord finally bringing this bitch down. You know what I'm saying to where everybody's coming to the to the, uh, the same playing field. You see. Everybody's going to get ready to be on the same playing field. It's going to be every man and every woman for themselves. Well, look, look, remember, when the, when, the, when the righteous are in authority, you rejoice. But when the wicked rule, people, boy, all these damn lies, all these damn false ass privates every damn way, just popping up out of the suit with these tight ass suits on and these damn tight ass shirts, you know what I'm saying, with a button up to the neck and that long ass tie, no beard, you no know saying, glasses. It's just lying to you. But but we but we're here now. This place is finally crumbling, going right back to um Jeremiah. We're gonna get that. Jeremiah 51. I'm thinking, let's get this first though. Proverbs 29 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So you Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, it ain't gonna be no rejoicing until this devil goes down and the Lord establish righteous rulers upon the face of the earth. This place has to go first though. All right? Got, got Israelites out there. Grow, look, look, we don't give a damn about, about what's going on. The whole Lex, we don't give a damn about what's going on at the border. Because whether they come over or whether they stay over on the other side of the border, shit is going to still be the same way for us. We're still going to be catching hell. It ain't going to get no better for us. We're still going to be uh, in the poverty-stricken neighborhoods. We're still going to be just screaming. This ain't living either. All right? This ain't living. You got, you got Israelites talking, I'm going to the border, man. I'm going to the border. I'm going to fight for my country. This ain't your damn country. It's stolen land. You keep forgetting. It's stolen land. And this land can't be. We're going to get this. This is just roll, man. Look, look, look. look. Uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people more. You haven't came to that conclusion yet? That wicked people, a wicked nation is ruling the earth right about there, bombing the hell out of everybody. The scripture of Micah, um, the first, uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 said, They come and fields, meaning they take lands. This is what the wicked has done. They have taken lands that didn't belong to them and oppressed the hell out of the people, man. You see? You got the oppressor still ruling the earth. You told something, you go, I'm going down to the border, and I'm saying, and I'm, I'm going to stop the, the so called illegals from coming across. This is their damn land. The oppressor stole their land. Them, them lads that's coming up from South America, guess what? This is their land. All right, they're native to this land. They they came over here. You see, after the Assyrian captivity, those are our people. This land was given to them by the heavenly Father. But who, who stole it? Your oppressor. Here you go. I'm going out to the border, and I'm, I'm gonna fight for it. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be an. Are you serious? Israel still saying that nonsense, man. Let's get this, man. I, I, I want to get this right quick. 
This place is going to pay, Israel. This place is going to pay. Hell, hell, uh, in all actuality, this place is really on life support. This place really on damn life support, man. You people trying to use some things that they put on people's chest, you know what I'm saying, to bring them back to life, you know what I'm saying? I forgot uh, I got the name of those things. Brothers can put it in the chat. Yeah, you know, this place ain't bouncing back. Baruch chapter 4. This is something quick, too. Baruch chapter 4. Baruch chapter 4, verse 31. And it reads, miserable. Matter of fact, matter of fact, what, what's, yeah, what started? Uh, let's see. Let's see. 29. Baruch chapter 4, verse 29. For as he, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation, the Heavenly Father. Brought these plagues upon the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? That's why we're in the predicament that we're in. Uh, and, and gave the rulership, the earth, to the wicked, man. You see? Say the same power that brought the plagues upon us shall bring you everlasting joy with salvation, with your salvation. That's why the scriptures command us that it's, it's, it's high time to wake out of sleep. Because salvation is near the wind. We believe this place has to go down first, though, Israel. Stop praying for this place, Israel. All right? Just get your daily bread. Do what you got to do until the Lord come and destroy this place. Don't, don't you sit back praying. Pray, pray. You praying for what, man? You don't pray for this place. You pray for the downfall of this place. You don't pray, oh, Lord, have, have it bounce back. Have the economy bounce back. Because I just want to keep working for the oppressor all my life. I just want to work until my, my hands fall, my damn fingers fall off my hands. Are you serious? You pray for the downfall going right back to Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, um... The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. So we're prophesying against this place. We want we want war to come. We talking about we want anarchy. We want chaos, and we know we're going to be in the midst of it. But but Abaratazar, yeah, how about Hashem? Yahweh shall protect the whole for elect elect men and women, man. When the shit hit the fan, right? It says, um, take a good heart. Oh, Jerusalem, let you know who it's talking about. People before us a place for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee and we'll be a comfort it now. Look, look, and it's the point. And miserable are they that afflict thee. So misery is coming upon this place. This place has afflicted us to this very day. What are you talking about, man? Babylon the Great has oppressed the hell out of us. Sleazy e Esau e Edom have oppressed us to this very day, man. Hell, they pressed the whole earth. But the scriptures talk about Jerusalem, right? Miserable, uh, miserable are they that afflicted thee. Their misery is coming, going right back to what is the Deuteronomy 30 and 7. The same curses that came upon us is coming upon Sleazy e now, man. It's, get, it's getting them, man. And the uh, thing about it, they, they can't handle it. They can't handle it, right? Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall, going right back to Lamentations. I think it's Lamentations chapter one. They were they was glad when the Lord took his power away from us. They, they was glad when the Lord stripped us of everything. They rejoiced. They said gifts to each other. Hell, we were some of the gifts that they sent to each other. Come on, man. They rejoice, man, at our fall, Israel. So damn right. We're rejoicing right about now. I'm going to see if I can get that. So rock 25 and 7 said nine things that a man desire. And tiff, and a tiff I will utter with my, my mind. He that liveth to see the, um, the joy of his children. And, and, and he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. So you you you, you damn right. You show sure, you're right. We were rejoicing right about the seeing this place crumble. Seeing misery come upon these people. And look, we're in the midst of it. But seeing all these things come upon you people, man, we we're rejoicing right about now. Seeing the economy crash, see, hearing about all these different jobs and businesses closing the hell down, seeing hyperinflation. I mean, once again, yeah, we need deep in this shit too, but we're rejoicing. This place has to go. You see? And the faster it go down, the, the, the faster will we experience life. You see? Because this is not living. We're just barely surviving. We're just merely surviving, yo, if that's the word, right? Let's read on, though. It says, miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Are you not hearing this, Israel? The Lord said that people in the cities, you know what I'm saying, in the countries that you that had you served under them, they beat you down, you know what I'm saying, they degraded the hell out of you. Misery is coming upon them, right? It was second Ezra, the eighth chapter, verse 50. You see? And these people, they persecuted us, and they had pride on top of it. 
You see, what the scripture say, punish them that that uh that do us wrong. Remember, they, they do it wrong. Punish them that do us wrong. A whole lot of all kind of scriptures going through my head right about now. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that receiveth thy sons, man. So the hell with Babylon, the great misery is coming upon this place, man. You see? Came over here in hardcore slavery, man. And, and once again, you saw what they did to the natives. Let's see. Oh, look. For, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall, so shall she be grieved of her own desolation. Are you not hearing that, Israel? Bear, 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 bear with me. Hell, this devil getting ready to make it mandatory, you know what I'm saying? That the whole earth's taking a plentiful device and you praying for this place? You praying for this devil to stay in power? Uh, oh, yeah, I got to vote for the lesser two evils. I know, I know, um, damn, Sleepy Joe ain't no good. I know Donald Duck ain't no good. I know both of them evil, but I'm, 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 I'm going to vote for the lesser of two evils. You Israelites have lost your damn mind, all right? Just straight up brainless and clueless of what the hell is going on. This this place cannot be here. You going down with it. You want this place to stay up. So when it goes down, you go down with it. So Rock chapter 25. And these scriptures are comforting me right now. You see? These scriptures are comforting my spirit right now, man. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just surviving right about now. I'm not living. We haven't known. We haven't experienced living. Hey, since we've been over here, we've just been um, merely surviving. You see? Barely surviving, man. Then you got our old damn women talking shit about us. We in hell. We in, we in captivity. The system was created for the Israelite man to never get ahead. But oh, yeah, you a bum. You ain't making enough. You got to make six figures. Bitch, shut your mouth. Just shut the hell up, man. So Rock chapter 25. Look, look, because when the righteous are on authority, we sure enough go rejoice. You see? But right now, the wicked is bearing rule, so we mourning right about now. Our people still can't get that, man. So Rock 25 and 7, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart, meaning in my mind to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. So we were, he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. One more time. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. We're not praying for our enemies. We're praying that we live to see the downfall of our enemies. What the hell are you Israelites talking about, man? The hell with a debate. The hell, we, we want all hell to break loose. That's what we want, man. The hell with a debate. We don't want no damn thousand dollars. We don't want nothing. We want to see this place crumble, man. We want to see the downfall of our enemy. And if you ain't talking about that, just get the hell away from us, man. If you ain't talking about putting these heathens head first into captivity, if you're, if you're not talking about thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, we don't need to talk to you about nothing. What the hell we need to talk to these ninjas for, man? They ain't talking about that. The hell with a debate. A debate ain't gonna get this ain't gonna bring this place down no faster. We're praying for the downfall of this place, man. It's, 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 it's mind-boggling. The hell is a, a debate ain't gonna bring this place down. Prophesying and praying for the downfall of this place is. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. This place rejoices at our downfall. But oh yeah, a debate. I wanna have a debate. Man, get the hell out of here with that shit, man. Jeremiah 51. We're being ruled over by a wicked ass nation. The only thing ninjas think about is a damn debate. Are you serious? That shows you the mind state of a ninja, man. Jeremiah 51. Let's see. Uh, seven. Babylon, aka America, the land of confusion. Babylon the Great have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That made all the earth drunk off of different philosophies, a dogma, damn democracy, and all this other nonsense, feminism, all this nonsense, man. That's why everybody's moaning right about now. You see? Because of the because they drunk that damn wine, man. All this liberty for damn women. You know what I'm saying? Unrighteous decree, all these damn unrighteous decrees. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's saving the best for last too. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. And our people still drunk off that damn Babylon juice. You see? The nations have drunken of her wine, her different philosophies. You see, her damn dogma. You see, what once again, democracy, feminism. You see, equality and all this crap, man. You see? The nations have drunk off her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. They're mad. They're angry, man. You see? 
you you drunk that damn wine, you know what I'm saying? You pretty much um pretty much threw your own damn morals, you know what I'm saying, in the trash, you know what I'm saying? Just to just to lay in bed with the whore. You know what I'm saying? It says Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. Future prophecy, it ain't happened yet. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. What what is bomb? What what is bomb used for? A cut. It's a healing agent. It's ointment. You see? And, and in this um scripture right here, basically, you know what I'm saying? Um stimulus packages. Pumping money into the economy. That's the bomb that they think they're going to use to heal this place. They make it bounce back, creating more jobs. You know, if so be, she may be healed, right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed, all right? The Lord said, if I wanted to heal this place, I would heal it. But why would I heal a place that brought my children over here? to serve? We just read in Baruch, miserable are the cities that thou hast served. You see? We built this whole damn place up, man. Our forefathers, we, we, we helped them too. Because look, we are our forefathers and foremothers coming back. We built this, we actually built this place up just like we built ancient Egypt. You see? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So you can pray for this place all you want to. You can run your ass down there to the border. Don't say, oh, we're going to stop the immigrants from coming across the border. You ain't stopping nothing, man. Why are you why are you Israelites so so um headstrong, you know what I'm saying, trying to heal this place? You see? You've been catching hell in this place. Hands up, hands up, and still get banged to damn deletion. And you still want this place? And every time you turn around, you get stopped on the damn highways, they'll say, Well, where you going? You you're not, you still haven't came to the conclusion that you're not free yet. Every time you go somewhere, somebody come behind you and say, Oh, oh yeah, where you going? Uh, look, let, let me see your ID. Where, where are you going? How long are you going to be there? But you, but you free, though, right? You're, you're free, right? Are you serious? You, you're so free, you got to walk around with a damn ID, right? And if you don't have one, you're going downtown to get fingerprinted, right? You're so free that you, can, you can't you can even leave out of the country without getting permission. How, where, 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 where you going? You got to get a passport. Where you going? You can, it ain't like you can get on your own damn boat and just go across seas. Hell, because the um, damn boat patrol, you know what I'm saying? The coast patrol, whatever you call them, you know it's going to stop you and say, where, where the hell are you going? So why the hell are you so... Um, Gun ho, you know what I'm saying? Blicky ho on, on prayer and, and saving this place. It doesn't love you. It doesn't like you, man. You see, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not here. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. That's what the elites, the people that actually got money have done. Everybody that went back to their own country. Now they come over here every now and then just, just to make money off this whore. You know what I'm saying? You see? But other than that, they don't stay here. People with money, they don't stay here, man. They see the moral decay. Look at the look at look at look what's going on, man. You don't even like coming outside because you're gonna see all the debauchery you know what I'm saying, that's allowed to run loose here, man. All these damn weirdos here, all these damn peanut butter chasers, all these damn transformers, more than meets the eye, all these damn decepticons every damn well. And you want to stay here? It ain't, it ain't safe for your sons or your daughters, man, to go outside and play, man. All right? Damn, 200,000 uh, Israelite women beat up, women missing last year. You see? You still want to stay here, man. This piece of shit, man. For our judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, man. So there ain't no healing in this place. The Lord said, I'm not healing this place, man. You see? This place is true, man. All right? It, look, look, it, it ran its course, man. Let's get this right. I want to get this right. And it's like I said before, this is just um, a spiritual rant pretty much back there with some scriptures. It is what it is, man. The more decline within Babylon. You see? Lamentations 1. I think it's 1. Lamentations chapter 1. The 21. Yep. Let's see, Lamentations chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, They have heard that I say, these heathen nations, they don't give a damn about you. The Chinese don't care about you. The Arab, the Dahe East Indian, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Dahe East Indian, the, um, the musty armpit smelling Arab, uh, the so-called white man, uh, the doo African, uh, the Hawaiians. And whoever else I didn't name, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, look, guess what? Yeah, I, I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but none of them likes you, all right? You better go read Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Brother, brother, but it's a new day, brother. Everyone loves everybody, brother. Celebration time, brother. We are the world. We are the children. And all this matters. Don't fall for it, Israel. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. You see? 
Everybody gets a check. Everybody gets um a damn check. You no know saying shit. The damn small heads. They still get paid reparations. Everybody's getting reparations, which which we don't give a damn about that. But just making a point. Everybody's getting reparations for what so called happened to them. But but a ninja asked for a dollar. They say, man, you better strap up your boots. You know what I'm saying and go out there and get it. Hell, them small heads. That's a damn welfare state. You see. Babylon take care, takes care of that damn welfare state. Shit, you see they send billions, you know what I'm saying, to the big U. You know what I'm talking about about that. But but what do they give you niggas? Not a damn thing. They gave you an Obama phone, all right? They gave you a damn Obama phone and some damn food stamps where they send billions to these other nations, man. You see? They heard that we sigh, man. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou has done it. Are you not hearing what the scripture said, Israel? They're glad that we're in the living conditions that we're in. They're glad that we're in the poverty-stricken neighborhoods. They're glad that we, we, we're sleeping on the damn park bench, that we're sleeping in the park. They, they're glad you know what I'm saying, that we got the uh, minimum wage, low minimum wage job. You see, they're glad that we're working down Burger King. They don't want us to be um, owners, you know what I'm saying, uh, CEOs of these Fortune 500 companies. All that shit is owned by Edomites, man. They're glad that we're uh, fucking just fighting them, fighting amongst the damn men, the men and the women of our nation. You see, they're, they're glad that the majority of our men are in their prison. They're rejoicing, man. All right. They're not saying, oh, oh, oh we wish you get better for the blacks. I wish you. Hell, they, they're glad that the, that the so-called Native American Indians are, are on their reservations. You know what I'm saying? Without running water. You see? Without a damn bathroom. You see? Just drinking, rubbing alcohol to, to ease the pain. You, they're rejoicing, man, on a damn reservation, man. They said they said in billions of dollars cross seas, but our brothers and sisters is on the reservations and they got drinking water. And they got damn, it's 2024. You got people in America. They always tell us we're going to another country to help the other people over there because they need help. Damn it, you ain't need help the people that's in your own country. All liars, man. But going right back to what we read in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, you mourn, damn it. Got our brothers and sisters out there on the damn reservations, you know what I'm saying? Stole their land. Going right back to Malachi, now going right back to Michael, chapter 2, verse 1. They cover fields and take them by violence and got them on a damn reservation. You know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're here to help everybody. You see? Let all those so called illegals over, over the damn border, but didn't help nobody within the country that was poor already. Veterans, homeless as hell. Oh, I didn't I mean, mean veterans pretty much all throughout the week, you know what I'm saying? And they homeless as hell, missing a leg, missing a damn eye, you know what I'm saying? And they can't get no damn help. Come on, man. They have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou has done it. Thou will bring the day that thou has called, and they shall be like unto me. And those missiles are going to fly too, man. The, the missiles are going to fly. This place been going on, man. Look at, look at the state. Look at a bunch of damn weirdos walking around Babylon. That's all you see is a bunch of damn weirdos walking around Babylon, man. Look at all through pink hair, pretty damn purple hair, they are damn rainbow color hair. This is just green hair. This shit is crazy. Gold and green hair. This is just madness. But this place has the gold, man. They are glad that thou has done it. Thou will bring the day that thou has called, and they shall be like unto me. Did you not hear that? These heathens are going to be just like unto us, man. You see? And, and, and those curses, Deuteronomy 30th chapter, you know what I'm saying, coming upon them right about now. A whole lot of them are losing their money, often family members and everything, man. The Lord says he's not going to woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. There's many other scriptures that I could bring out. Like I said before, just a spiritual rant. The, the Lord said, no, saying miserable are the cities which thou hast served. The Lord, the Lord ain't going to heal this place. Matter of fact, I, I got one more before I close out. Just spiritual rant. I'm all over the place with it. Lord willing, it's comforting the hopeful elect, though. We're, we're here now. We're, we're, we're here now. This place is going down. Ain't no coming back now. Ain't no coming back. This place has ran its course, Israel. This place, has, Babylon the Great, has ran her course, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, it, it doesn't matter what you like. You see? It's, it's a, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. And we're, we're fine with, with the Lord bringing this place down. We're fine with it, man. You see? Bring more. Bring more, Lord. And yeah, and yeah, we over here. But you're over here too, brother. If the jobs close down, then you're going to be affected too. If the if, the, if hyperinflation keeps going up, it's going to affect you, brother. You know what I'm saying? If the food prices keep going to up at the store, you're going to be affected too, brother. And 
This place has to go down. Everything that's happening right about now, it has to increase. It has to intensify, all right? The love of many has to wax cold, man. Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. Ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defiles the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. How was this place got, man? How was this place established, man? Remember what was it? Was it um 1862 Act? The 1862 Act? So when they was giving, you know what I'm saying, uh, them Edomites from Europe, you know what I'm saying? So when they came over here, they was giving them like 60 to 150 acres of land, long, long as they tilled it, as long as they uh, farmed it and things of that nature, gave, stole all that land from our brothers and sisters, man, and they gave it to some devils, man, you see? And, and it came by way of blood being shed. The Lord said this land can never be cleansed of the blood that was shed. I hope you know that. I hope you Israelites know that. You All you Israelites out there, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, just praying for this place. I hope you know, according to the Bible, this land can never be cleansed. Never, never be cleansed of the blood of the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans that was shed. But by, by the blood of him, they shed it, man. This place will not bounce back. Shalom.